Hello guys, Inferno Shard one for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I uh have some pretty good interesting facts on stuff that could be coming from Rockstar Games and also something that is actually really really true. So, with all that being said, I'm going to talk with the first part of related of Rockstar Games with a possible of a Grand Theft Auto 4 remake. Okay, so it was just about a couple months ago that Rockstar Games uh, had an update on uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 to like fix some patches or something, even though the game is turning nine years old this coming up April. And so there was an update for Grand Theft Auto 4 itself and Grand Theft Auto 4 episodes from Liberty City. So it was the whole game itself. So they updated it to fix like patches and there's something of a leak with um a site where this this photo is taken of of like something that they're working on on GTA 4 which is funny because they're releasing a lot of updates for GTA 5 and they're trying to make GTA 5 a little bit more better and stuff and it's funny how they're updating GTA 4 so I watched this guy's YouTube video um, about the other day I, uh, I think it was like the um, 29th or something and he was saying something about that that update that Grand Theft Auto 4 had that since it's funny because of how old it is and that they still had an update for it he said something about that this could possibly mean that GTA 4 remaster for its 10 year anniversary coming in 2018 could be in the works right now from Rockstar Games in which honestly that is a hope that's not a true fact this is a hope that I was telling you and I can honestly see that it's more of a possibility that it is true because if you look at it Vice City got remastered on uh well, I don't know when Vice City got remastered, but I heard, I do remember Vice City getting remastered on the PS4 from the PS2 Classic. And then, um, San Andreas got remastered in the, uh, for its 10-year anniversary back in October 26 of 2014, and they remastered it for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. So, since Rockstar Games remastered Grand Theft Auto, uh, San Andreas, and Vice City, it's more of a possibility that they might remaster Grand Theft Auto 4 coming up in the year of 2018. Because San Andreas was like the one of the most popular Grand Theft Auto games, and it still is the leading of this day. Grand Theft Auto 5 might actually be more popular, but San Andreas was still pretty good of a popular GTA game. So that's why they went and remaster it. And 4 is like really, really popular also. And that's why I could see that it's probably going to be coming as a remaster for its 10 year anniversary. So with that being said, Rockstar Games could actually be working on the online. And as you can see, you remember seeing that leak image beginning of the summertime of Liberty City with GTA's engine. That's another reason why we can be expecting that it's a Grand Theft Auto 4 remaster. So after that, with that being said, uh, we could Rockstar if they are remastering GTA 4, we could they will be remastering and improving the online. And the online, I heard something about that guy was also saying on the video that the online could actually be really, really great. So they could be like improving online also as well as remaking the game itself. So I thought I'd let everybody know about that. Now the second part on this video that I wanted to go over with. Now I understand that the um, next gen system of Grand Theft Auto 5 might actually have better graphics which honestly they really do. But I wanted to let you guys know that if you look at the difference between GTA 5 on last gen and next gen, they are equally in two different ways. Now, 
this ain't just because of the graphics or nothing like that. But most of it is because of the graphics, but some there are some that it doesn't mean. So if you look at the graphics just directly like on a TV, you you can tell that the next gen does look way better, which personally it really does in my opinion. But here's the tricky thing, okay? Now some parts on the next gen version of GTA 5 might have a little bit of cartoony in them and those parts on the last gen version of GTA 5 are not as cartoony as they are on the next gen and then also with another part about that makes it equal is with the rain as you can see when the rain drops and you see the rain coming down on the coming down from the sky and it looks like it's only like a few drops here and there on the next gen version of uh, GTA but if you look at the last gen version you're actually seeing like it's pouring down rain see now that's a good thing about the last gen version that the next gen doesn't have I mean yeah you see the rain and it looks shiny which that does make it pretty realistic but you, you don't see it like as much you only see like a few drops here and there but if you look at the last gen you're actually seeing the rain like it's pouring down see that's one good thing about the last gen that I like so but here's a good thing about the last gen that ain't as good as the next gen now when the rain hits on the ground you actually see puddles of water more on the ne next gen version of GTA than you do with the last gen now that's what I wanted to like let you guys know so like there is some parts in uh, GTA 5 and uh, GTA 5 on next gen as well as last gen that makes it pretty equally now I know a lot of you probably didn't know this but it is very true this is very true that there is some parts in GTA 5 that are the same or that makes it completely the same from last gen from last gen and next gen so yeah I thought I'd let you guys know and thought I'd go over that a little bit so on the third part which is the last part of this video that I'm going to talk with you guys if you haven't noticed already did you know you guys probably don't know that every game that Rockstar makes uh, which is in the Red Dead and GTA series it actually takes them more longer and longer to make because look at it this way GTA 5 let's say GTA San Andreas originally came out on the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2 back in uh, 2004 and then GTA 4 came out in 2008 so that's a four year difference now with that being said GTA 4 along with this GTA 5 it came out in September of 2013 so that's five year difference between GTA 4 and GTA 5 now along with the Red Dead series and GTA if you look at it this way GTA 4 to Red Dead Redemption it actually took them two years but after Red Dead Redemption to GTA 5 it was three years but then now if you look at it Red Dead Redemption 2 is being released next year well this year now since it already hit of 2017 and with GTA 5 in 2013 that was four years and then so with the Red Dead series Red Dead Redemption 1 as well as Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2010 all the way to 2017 that was seven years and then here's the last part so the way it looks with GTA 5 there's a lot of rumors saying and they feel like they're insane insanely true that GTA 6 will be coming out in the year of 2020 or 2021 maybe 2019 at the earliest but I believe that it'll be 2020 and then if you look at it that way to 2021 from 2013 if that's the year that it's coming out with the 
leak images on uh, GTA 5 at the airport, that's seven to eight years. And I mean, Red Dead Redemption to Red Dead Redemption 2, it's seven years, but with GTA 5 to GTA 6, it looks to be, it'll be six, or not six, um, seven to eight years. So yeah, if you look at it, it's taken Rockstar more longer and longer to make than their next popular game. Which, honestly, I can understand is because they're trying to improve the graphics to make the game look more realistic. And with GTA 6, as you can tell, the difference between Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5's map, Grand Theft Auto 5's map is just a slightly bit more larger compared to GTA 4, and GTA 4 is a slightly bit more larger than the, all the classics from PlayStation 2. So, that's the also the reason why it's taking them longer is because they're trying to make a bigger map and they're trying to improve the graphics to make them more realistic and all that other stuff. And because of how the games are coming on next gen now and they're not on last gen because literally it would take them like two to three years just for the last gen but it's taking them forever so yeah guys I thought I um, make this video and I thought I'd let you know about some info about Rockstar Games those of you that haven't probably known already and uh, those of you that are new don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any activities and uh, don't forget to hit a like. I'm hoping to hit at least 500 to 1,000, if not 1,000 to 5,000 likes for this video. And don't forget to send me in the comments below. Those of you that are like new and that f didn't know about this information and that is glad that they found it out from me, or send me in the comments below about when you think GTA 6 is going to be coming out and how pumped up are you. Just like. Just send me in the comments below of your thoughts on this video, and I will see you guys next time in the next video.